you know, there's one list of gaming that I forgot to put in the category when it comes to the Steam Deck and any other handhelds or any PC gaming in general. Mugen. You know, we used to play Flash games back in the day on the computers. I mean, you used to play small indie games and stuff because that's all we had back in the days. Yeah, I sound old saying it, but that's okay. Mugen and all the rest of the games like N64 was a real good class of games. And even to today's standards, people still play them, emulate them, and do more than that. And so today we're going to do a Mugen, you know, short video. Not long. Try to make it short as possible. But we're also teaching and showing you how to do it as well. So, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, let's enjoy this video together and be informative. So, first off, yes, you see Futaba in the background, and you hear the Futaba music. So, you know... I'm a P5 fan. I like P5 when it first came out, and you know, I didn't play it at first because, hey, I didn't think it was a good game, but then when I played it on PS5 when it gave for free, oh yeah, it changed me, so anyway, let's get to the point of the video. Mugen, Mugen, Mugen. So as you can see, I typed in Mugen to download. You can use these different things. Here is the one website that you can just get it all from. But you also have to be careful with getting it from that one, this website here because they have a restriction on stuff like that. But this is the website that you will get your character stages and add-ons and stuff. Um, but for me, I just downloaded the Mugen from straight from South Sonic or wherever. I mean, it didn't really do. South Sonic normally have you know, South Tonic. I'm sorry, normally has um, everything that you need. But at the same time, you know, you gotta be careful what you download online. So that's where I got my Mugen from. But this is a great tutorial if you don't want to follow my tutorial or you want to follow, you know, you want to ask like the life bars and all that stuff. Watch this channel from Mugen Archives, same same website. And um, they had a really good tutorial that helped me out because I didn't know what I was doing. All I knew was, hey, download the Mugen and it only comes with two characters. I'm like, hold up, two characters? That ain't right. And so I had to follow this guide, and it's a really good guide. It shows you how to, you know, pull everything precisely. So make sure you follow it. But this is the website that you can get it from. Nice community, good community. This is where you get your characters from. So we'll come back to that in a second. All right, I'm going to close these out because I was trying to delete the video. But anyway, here's my Mugen. It has been downloaded. Now I can play my Mugen, and it shows it possibly exists. You only have, like, two characters that when you first get it. You do need V-Select to be able to add character stages and stuff like that. So V-Select, you need to go on there and download that. This is where you insert your style, your characters, you know, all that. You open your Mugen, change your video formats, all that small stuff like that. But make sure you watch that video because it's into society if you want the full details. But anyway, so from there, say I want to get a character. Well, quick tutorial, I'm going to do characters. Let's see, what character? You got a long list of characters to choose from. Let's say I want a... Let's not do Nintendo because they'll probably try to flag my video if I do that. Let's do another DBZ character. Let's say, oh, DBZ yeah, down here. Dragon Ball Z. Alright, let's do another Dragon Ball Z character. You got from an early age and on up. You got people that got the downloads. I click the top rated ones. Of course, they got Goku as a top rated character. I got a few characters from Dragon Ball Z already. Let's go with Jaren will be too ultra powerful, but I wouldn't mind seeing Jaren again. Let's just go with somebody easy. Let's just go with old SSJ Goku. Come here. You gotta make a profile to download. And once you make your profile, you'll be able to download characters. Comes down here to the bottom, download. Boom, cool. Alright, so we're gonna go down to my download folders where I have this stuff downloaded at. Alright, this will be my character. I want to zip my unzip my character. Use seven zip and where the character folders at, of course it goes in the character folder on you know. I mean it's self explanatory for some stuff. Uh Mugen, Mugen, let's see, new characters and I'm gonna drop it in there. Seven zip does this work. I can delete the old file. Oh, shoot, wrong button. I can delete the old file, come up here, insert, and let's look for that character. What character did we just do? Goku, HR was the other one, SSJ Goku. And then we put the default, I mean DEF in there. Make sure you save, because it's always going to have an issue if you don't save. 
then we're gonna launch the Mew gun. And I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. Now you can switch up your graphics, how it look, all that. I got, you know, to it and show you where you would get your stages and stuff from get your stages from the same website say so, yeah, let's do an, um, let's do another Dragon Ball Z stage I'm just doing the easiest ones now you got plenty of stages to pick from I click over here to see what's the top downloaded okay Rocky Field let's get this one download and it came to raw fire, all right. Down here we go to downloads. I want to extract this. Let's see, extraction. And of course we're gonna choose the location again. But instead of this time putting it all the way through, I'm gonna put it like right in the folder, music folder. Because it's gonna come up with the music and it's also gonna come with um, the actual place. So, in the Mugen folder, let's see, back, back one, pick up Dragon Ball Z, alright, so as you can see, this is the song, and then they also got another song as well, which, I'm gonna just throw that in, the, oh, it's already, it's, it's the same one, is that, yep, show this, okay, alright, well, we're not gonna worry about that file. But these are your three files that you need for, for um, you know, for the Mugen part where you can, um, and don't pay attention to my files because it's not important. Anyway, all right, so we go here. This is your Rocky Day Mugen, and that's your song. So we're going to throw that in the song folder. And then these are your fields. And we're gonna throw these in your stages folder. And there 
that take care of that. So we'll delete that on over. Yes, sir. All right, we'll turn this back to downloads. And we'll go from there. All right, now we'll pull the V-Select back up. Let's say Goku. All right, we're going to double-click Goku. And where you see it says stage, we're going to pick the stage. So they got two different kinds. I don't... Sometimes you have to figure out which one it is, the one that will work. Sometimes it'll work and it'll pop up, sometimes it won't. So you'll have to bear in mind with that. So let's load into it, back into it again. Sometimes that works, sometimes it don't. Alright, so we'll say... Oh yeah, I didn't save, so that's another reason why that probably did that too. It is what it is. We'll just try it again. It's cool, I like the mode, but yeah. I actually see, like I said, I got Family Guy, I got Peter, and they don't pay up a picture. You got, you know, Gumball, Pitcher, Yusuke. So, you got a very talented group of people that does the Mugen side of things and things like that. And so, one last thing I will show. You got your add-ons. Now, for you t to see that I had um, Smash Brothers, I had to go to Screen Packs. Screen Packs is where I got, you know from right here Super Smash Bros Impact that one I clicked on um, download it and once you download it you gotta go and put it um, well you gotta pull the data from it and copy the data the plug in sound and stages and you pull it over do that before you add characters in here make sure you do that first and right, you'll drag that them four folders over here and it'll replace the folders and it'll turn into Super Smash Impact. So, but that's gonna do it. That's just the basis of you know the Mugen. But as you can see, it works on Steam Deck, no problem. And um, you know, I'm glad to think about it the other day, and I'm glad I thought about it. And I'm like, well, some people are actually you know want to play Mugen, and the Mugen community is still strong, even though it's not as strong as it used to be, thanks to how technology keep evolving. But it, it's the fact that it's still able to play and things like that, and people still have you know ways to get to it, it's very impressive. So, but there you have it. If you enjoyed the video, share it, like it, subscribe to the channel. 
give me any tips, tricks, comments, whatever at the bottom, you know. So, you know, if you anything you want to see or anything you want to be seen on the channel shown, uh, go to my other videos, check the other videos for if things on the Steam Deck or the Win 600 or any other devices I put on the channel and video game content as well. So, until the next video, you guys, I will see you later. Peace.